then align array has a fixed endpoint, fixed endpoint, but it goes either to the right or to the left or up or down really. It actually could go in any direction here. Uh, but the point is, is that it's fixed on one side, but it's it's goes to infinity on the other or it goes forever. Okay. So that's what array looks like. It's like the ray where it has only one point. Yes, there's one there's, um, a pointy sharp thing. Yes. Now the the, the there's there's a when you label rays, you have to do them with order uh, being very uh, important here. So for example, A C ray A C. This means that it it starts at A and goes through, goes through C. Okay. So it starts at A, that's why there's a point there, A. And it goes, it goes through C. All right, so, okay. This is what Ray CA would look like. Wait a minute. So that is different. The um, points are different because for the uh, for the uh, normal line with two um, sharp points, it um, has like, for example, the two lines that are together but not far apart. Yes. So rays are different than lines and line segments. Rays have to start at a point and then they go through another point. Okay, but what okay. I'm trying to show you here is that that if you switch the letters, they're not the same. This means it starts at C and goes through A. Okay. So they're they're not the, the you got to be more specific uh, in this case. Okay. So right. one way to label this one is okay. is A C. Uh, let me give you the other one here. I'm going to just copy this down. The other way to label this is Ray AB. This okay. means it starts at A, starts at point A, and goes through B. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, but but notice that it's not the same as BA. This this BA is bad here because I'm going to copy this down again. Okay. BA means that it starts at B and goes through A to the left, and that's obviously not not the same picture as this above. So we don't want to do that. All right. Okay. So all right. So first, it's AC and CA. No, uh, you you cannot you cannot say C A because that means it starts at C and goes through A but goes to the left forever. So I was saying A to C. Yes, that's correct. But then the second one is A to B, Ray A B. Mm -hmm. So we can't go back because it, it's it only points in a, in only one way. That's right. It's like a one-way street. It has to go down only one direction. Just only you have to go. It has to go straight. It cannot go back. That's right. Okay, and that right there is um, a um, B C. So no B C would start at B. It would start at B and go to C. You have to include this part over here with A. So that's why it has to start at A. Okay. So it has to start at A. So A, B. That's right. Or A, C. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me grab the next one here, uh, 22. And we'll, uh, we'll look at that one next. Mm hmm Okay. All right, so here is 22. Okay. So notice, notice the ray goes to the left. It's going, it's going that direction to the left, okay? Yeah, yeah. You, you, want, you always wanna start with the, the end point. 
the endpoint is P. Okay. What what other letter does it go through? P N. Okay, so P N, like this. Yeah. This means it starts at P and goes through N. Yeah, because that's a ray and it always points for wherever it goes. So you have to start wherever it's at the start or at the end. That's right. So now the other option is P, starting at P, and what other letter can it go through? It can also go through P M. Go through M. <laughs> so those are the two answers to 22. Yeah, I got it down. And then for 23, X, Y, and X, Z. Okay, go ahead and write those down. And then I'm going to write, I want to just check them. Uh, I'll have you check them with my answer. So just go ahead and write those down on your page. Okay. Okay, so for twenty three, it should looks like look like this X, Y. Uh -huh. or x z and and the arrow goes to the right when you're notating it yeah okay let's look at 24 yeah 24 draw and label each ray okay so what you get to do is you get to decide and we're going to do this on a coordinate plane we're going to pick points okay just to get some practice here so let's call A, A is going to be at the point zero comma zero, and B is going to be at the point negative three comma two. Yeah, okay. So I want you to label those two points on your graph. <sighs> okay, it needs to go straight up and then A is going to be A at the bottom and B at the top. So A is at the origin and then B is minus three, two. So you're going left three and up two. Is that where you put point B? Yeah, okay. Wait a minute. So there's also coordinates. Right? The coordinates. Yeah. yeah, I'm picking the coordinates because we want to. You can either pick any coordinates. That's, that's what we want. Well, I picked them for you because I want you to, to practice graphing. Yeah, graphing, yeah. But for a graphing for algebra, um, it, you, you helped me a lot on that. So, so do you see why B is over here? You're From the origin, you go left three, up two. Left you three. Go straight uh, up to the uh, left. So the ray starts at A. <laughs> goes through B like this, but, but there's only an arrow on this end here. Okay. Let me know when you get that down. Okay, so, all right. Okay. You got it down. Um. Yeah. 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 I'm. I'm just. Um. I'm just. Um. I'm just. Um. Yeah. In understanding. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. You got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So let's I'm look gonna at write it. Well, hold on a minute. Let me just uh, write my coordinate plane. I forgot to do that. Okay. Let me know when you're all caught up here. Yeah. Okay, got it. Got it down. I'm caught up. Great. So now for 25, okay, we're going to pick the coordinates for y and x. So the coordinates for y, let's go, uh, let's go 2 comma 4. And for x, let's go negative 1 comma negative 3. Mm-hmm. OK, mm -hmm. so I want you to graph those two points on the coordinate plane and label them as well. Got it down. Okay, so here is y two four. Did you put y up here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then x is negative one, negative three. It's down here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So which which point does it start at? Does it start at y or x? It has to start at x. We'll look up back over here. Which one does it start with? Which letter? Y x. So which letter does it start with? You can only say one letter. X and Y. No, sorry, it's one letter. Which 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 is the first letter? Y, Y, Y. Y. So it has to start at Y. Starts at Y and goes through X. Okay. That's very important. It's very important that you understand that it starts at one and goes to the other. Okay. All right, got it down. Okay. Okay, so uh, for the next one, I want you to graph it. I want you to pick the points for M and N. I want you to graph it and then send me a picture of it. Okay. Okay, I'll do it on my own. Let me know when you're all done with that. Okay, Matthew.
Okay, got it down. Okay, can you send me a picture of what you did or tell me the coordinates? Yeah, I can for send you the picture. I can send you the picture. It's up to you, whatever's easiest. Okay, there I send it. All right, let me take a look here. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Yep, you're welcome. All right. Uh, so I, I really hope you're not drawing on the textbook. Do you do you have some paper that you can be uh it can be using today. Uh, yeah. Well, it, it's definitely not a good strategy to be to be uh, to be doing that. Yeah. Um, why don't you grab some paper? Let me know when you get back yeah, and settle. Uh, yeah, I do not have some piece of paper. Well, it's well, right well. in the study room where my parents are there. Uh, they have COVID. I cannot go get it. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, uh, it, I have papers in the study room, but I cannot go get it because my parents, the, they're sick. I understand. Um, you have no paper available to you. Yeah, in my room. Okay. You don't have a notebook from class or? I have a notebook only for my geometry class. Well, why don't you grab it and you can, you can grab some paper out of the, uh, you know, the, the, the backside, the, uh, uh, no, it's going to get ripped out and it's going to cause my notebook to be damaged. Okay, well, we can't, we cannot proceed, Sarish, unless you've got paper. I mean, I. Okay, I, I think I have paper, um, some of uh, a paper, paper. Uh, I think I'm going to have it. Um, okay, I'm going to just have some paper. Okay, I just got a, some paper right here. I can use some type of paper. Okay, I. I this is like a standard thing that you've got to have when we do lessons. You've got to have paper uh, available to you so you can't write in your textbook that's not good no that's i mean it's not it's not uh you're just renting it from the school so no you definitely don't want to do that um even you cannot write in a textbook no no you definitely don't want to do that wait what about the answers no you you're not supposed to be writing in your textbook no that's that's very bad um because it's it's not your property. I mean, just just imagine if someone came to your property and was writing on you know your walls or your or your uh, sidewalks or okay. your okay. fences. Maybe yeah. you have to do it on a piece of paper. That's why. Yes, yes. So you've got to get some paper, or we cannot go further with this lesson today. I mean, this is kind of a a cool. I didn't thing even know that you cannot write in the paper. I'm, I'm I don't even I did not even know. Sorry about that. 
Um, I'm very sorry about are, that. Is is there is there is there? I mean, we can pause for a few minutes here. Do you can you go get paper? Yeah, I can get my notebook. That? I can get my notebook. Okay, that would I'll be just great. Let me erase all of these in the textbook. Yeah, because that's maybe. Me. Yeah, I, because you need to write in a in a piece of paper because notebooks and but because and my textbook is not, uh, wow. So let me erase this and let me go get my notebook. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I'll go get my textbook. I'm gonna go get my textbook, um, Mr. Yep, yeah, uh, sounds good. Just go ahead and, or you said your notebook, but yeah, go ahead and do that because we definitely need to be uh, taking notes. And uh, yeah, I think your instructor, I'm gonna take notes. I think your instructor will be very pleased with you for uh, for doing that in your notebook. It's definitely a good good use. Yeah, but I didn't even I didn't even know that the textbook you should write in a textbook. I did not even know that it was a rule. Well, that's okay. Uh, better to know I now than realize that. Okay, I got my notebook. Okay. okay. I got my notebook. Great. Now, you know that we, um, we, uh, we've been doing a lot of problems and I do send you the, the, uh, yeah, the, the previous work for what we did, I'm going to write those down in my notebook. Good. That's, that's fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways, all right. Okay, uh, so let's go to question 27 and uh, we'll take a look at uh, this. So this is a different type of problem with some different language. Mm -hmm. So let me snip it in here. Okay, so uh, here, here's what we have been talking about so far. So a single play, a single point or place in space is called a point. And if you take two points and connect them together, you get a line 
or a line segment. Okay. Or a ray. That's another way of looking at it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what's what comes next is what's called a plane. And so a plane is kind of hard to draw, but this is the general shape of a plane here. The plane is like the plane is like um it's where it's the plane is like the airplane. Not no, it, it, not a good reference. It's like a sheet of paper if you hold it up. It's it's a it actually extends infinitely in each direction. Okay. So like when you're playing a video game, the world you the worlds you're playing in are like a plane. They they extend out forever, generally. Okay. Okay, so now we get to some words. Collinear. Collinear. Collinear means on the same line. On the so this that's a new word. That's a new word. It's a good, it's a new like definition. Collinear means on the same line. Okay. All right. So a car a is how do you say collinear? Collinear. Co collinear is me yeah. means on the same line. That's right. Collinear. Okay. Collinear. That's gonna yeah. be a new word for us to be know knowing that in geometry class. Yes, you're gonna be asked to understand it yeah so here's a point and here's a point and they are collinear okay those those points are collinear this is also collinear all right so that's so that is collinear okay right but if i put a point over here call it d it is not collinear Okay. All right. So now what's interesting is that if I draw a plane here, all of these points A, B, C, and D are on the plane. Do you do you, do you can you visualize that? Yeah, yeah. But okay. only A, B, and C are on the same <clears throat> line. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the word coplanar. Okay. So planar means on the same plane. On the same plane. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So any questions on that? No. No. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's take uh, let's take a just a short break here. Let's take a like a three minute break, and uh, we'll start back at seven thirty five. Okay. Okay.
All right, sorry. So let's uh, let's keep going here and yeah. uh, see what else we can get done today. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, let's go to questions 29, uh, 29 through 31. Mm -hmm. We're going to do these one at a time. We'll just graph them uh, together here so we can see what's going on. Um, Okay. okay, so here is 29, and I'm just going to draw, draw a coordinate plane here, my x, mm -hmm. y axes. Actually, that didn't come out very good. Let's go with this one. All right, so it says, draw a B where B has coordinates 2 comma negative 6. So I got I to gotta first draw uh, B, so 2 and then down six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now is this a line or is it a line segment? Oh, uh, uh, it's gonna be a line segment. It's a line segment. And it doesn't say where to where to draw A, so you can you can choose wherever you want. Uh, actually, no, 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 they, they uh, a, a is at four zero, I didn't see that. So A is right there, there's A. So there's A. There's B. So this is a line segment. It, it starts and stops at the points. Okay. Any questions on that? Um, no. Okay. So let's look at 30. Okay. 30 says draw. OM ray OM with endpoint zero zero. So that that's saying that when it's the endpoint, the endpoint is the first letter. Okay. It's the first letter of the first point. So there's there's your O at zero zero, but it goes through the point two, comma two. So here's the point two, comma two. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's M. So is this correct? Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so so th th it's the problem says M O. Is that what it says? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go ahead and go ahead and look at it again. I, I think you're just giving me an answer that you think I want to hear because uh, you can okay, see. Okay, so okay, so I um, so right there is um. That's a ray. Yes, it's a ray, but where does it start? Does it start at O or does it start at M? M. No, the first letter is where it starts. Oh, I'm just sorry about that. It's O. Okay. Well, I mean, this is important because this is like a key thing that we're, we're trying to, to differentiate in this course. Like, like one letter means all the difference. Okay. Okay. All right, and that, uh, yeah, all right. Okay, so now the next one, I'm gonna mm -hmm. snip the next one in 31, it says draw line, is it a line or a line segment in 31? Is that a line or line segment? A uh, line, um, line. It's a line. So we got to plot the points minus two comma one. So there's minus two comma one. And then minus two minus, I'm sorry, I put that in the wrong spot. Minus two comma one is up here. And then minus two minus three is down here. Okay. okay. So is, is this correct, what I've just drawn? Is that a line? Is that a line? Yes. No. Oh, we know. Wait, no. What is, that is what? a that's just a line segment. It's a line segment. So I have to extend both lines and I have to put an arrow on it. And your instructor is grading you for that. Your instructor is going to look and see, did you put the arrows? They're, that's really all they're looking for. Did arrows are important. Very important when you're drawing a line. For a line segment, no. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Any questions on that? Um, no, nothing. Okay, so and then C, C is going to be negative two, one, and D is negative two, negative three. That's right. And that, uh, and that is where you get yourself a line segment. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to go look at question 28. It's kind of a fun question. So it used to be that when you went to restaurants, uh, they would put sort of games and, and things out in front of you on the piece of paper, the placemat. And uh, this is the kind of question that, that you might see. Um, so we're going to first start. Here's a line. This is line A, B. Okay. Okay. How many ways can you name this line? And, and we already did this last time. It's A, B, or it's B, A. Do you see that? Do you agree with that? Do you remember that, Sarah? I agree with that. I agree with okay, that. Okay, great. Great. So now I'm going to draw a line with three points, A, B, and C. And the question is, how many different ways can you label this line? So you can call it A, B, B, A, because you can always flip them. You can go uh, B, C. We'll do that one, B, C or mm -hmm. CB. Yeah. Okay. Or you can go AC. Mm, CA. Okay. So how many total are there here? How many total are there? Um, there is um, how many? So six. Six. Very good. So there's six here. There are two here. Okay, so now we're going to do it for four points, A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's your line. Yeah. A, B, C, and D. So how many different ways can you label this? Well, you can go A, B, B, A, right? Mm -hmm. What's another one? Give me another one here, please. Given the answer, the, okay, that's um, A, uh, A, C, and C, A. Okay, I like it, A, C, and C, A. A, D, D, A. A, D, D, A. Okay, so what I'm seeing though, and this is important here, is these are like two, these are like slightly longer. So let's do the ones that are just single length. So like say you can go B, C, and C, B, and then you can go C, D, and D, C. Those are all of, those are all of length like two. Mm -hmm. Now, the one you just said is length two, so it would go with BD and DB, and then the one of length three, okay, that's the AD, the DA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's 10 total. Do you see that? That's 10 total ways so far. Yeah. Okay, now if we go five points, we go five points, so we're gonna go A, B, C, D, and E. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. A, B, B, A, and then let's do the, the short ones. So then it would be B, C, C, B, mm -hmm. C, D, D, C, yeah. D, E, E, D, okay. And then we got to do the ones of length two. So that would be like A, C, C, A, mm -hmm. B, D, yep. D, B, and so on. Okay. So you end up finding that there are 14. Uh, total ones that you could do for this. Yeah. 
All right. Well, that does take us to the end of our lesson for today, Sarish. I really appreciate it. Now we got a les lesson on Thursday. Please, yeah. please, please have some pencil and paper ready. I will be asking you to do some problems. We'll also need something new to work on. So either ask your instructor or be prepared to send something uh, over before the lesson. So thank okay. you so much. I'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. Bye.